Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shy back again with another YouTube video. In this video, we're working with the Philac Post Bed Chain Stitch Embroidery Machine by Philac. F A L A K. This company has amazing customer service. Um, the previous video, make sure you guys click on the previous video where I unboxed it. The packaging was immaculate. It was nice and packaged very well. No loose bolts or nothing at the bottom of the package. Saeem, he has awesome customer service. He will definitely walk you through it and getting your machine set up. He did ease a lot of worries that I had. He was like, yo, Shad, the only thing you need to do is adjust your tension and adjust your needle bar settings. That's the only thing you need to do to make these things work. What I assume is that they get these, they test them out. They have a nice quality control. They test these machines out before they ship it to you. So you don't have to worry about, you know, cutting this and doing that and adjusting this. No, 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 they get it, they get it straight. Like the, the, the stitch per inch is already adjusted everything is adjusted you just gotta once you get it out the box you just gotta make sure your timing is set to chain stitch and not moss now you can adjust your settings however you want to adjust your settings now that's the good thing about these machines as you see this machine is all metal so there's no plastic pieces just like i said in the previous video there's no plastic pieces in this machine so it's, it's not going to break down as fast as those machines that have a lot of plastic in it. All right, yeah, and in this clip, what I'm doing, I'm threading the machine right now. So the only thing you got to do is just, as you saw, you put that long little fishing tool up in there. You pull the thread towards you. You put the, you, you put the needle bar down into the machine. You turn your wheel clockwise. Turn the wheel clockwise get your hook and pull that thread on through <laughs> i hope you guys understand what i'm telling what i'm talking about because i don't know all this i know the, the, the technical terms for these these little tools but you know it is what it is <laughs> and you gotta be perfect all the time but yeah so that's how you get that joint and once it's in that uh the second hole behind the first one it's ready to stitch and i'm gonna load up my my project this is a, a vintage cartoon felix the cat um it took me a couple times just to get all the settings down packed sometimes the thread uh was a little loose so i, I lowered the, ne the needle bar a little more a couple mill millimeters you know what i'm saying just trying to get that fine tune but i got it to a point where i like what's you know what i'm saying what is what's the output i like the output and it's stitching very smooth. All right, so once I finished with my, uh, my patch, I started to practice on a hat. And it's gonna take a lot of practice. Practice makes perfect, as you see. Uh, but the settings, I got the settings down packed. Next video, I'm gonna show you a completed hat using this machine. As you know, practice makes perfect. And I'm in that gym practicing. It's your boy, Shad. Go get a types YouTube channel. Click that like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Thank you.